welcome back. In this installment of the series, I am going to show you the path you take to get to Brother Zan, who lives in the village of Portsmouth. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be utilizing the jump spell quite a bit, so that we don't have to worry about the, about our males in our party getting drained. Um, if you're looking for a guidepost, this is just right, out, right from the entrance to the city, and in case you get lost... Let me get out of here. In case you get lost, like for example, if you need to run from a fight or anything, it'll take you right back to here, right in front of the inn, Portsmouth. So all you just really need to do is follow the steps from the inn, which is pretty much south, and whenever I break off to the east, I'll let you know. Anyways, let's start. And anytime you come to an intersection inside of the city, just cast a jump spell. And normally it will take you over it. Um, sometimes the spell can fail though, and you just have to walk right through it. Such is the case in here. Um, just so you know, if all the males get drained for half their health. They can run through another drain of it again, but if they if they get drained three times in a row, then they die off. Um, they have to have more than one health point left, in other words. So, all I'm just going to do right here is just cast a simple little spell, like Power Cure, or whatever that second level healing spell is. They don't need to have a lot of health given back to them, because they're just going to lose it anyways. Turn them off to the right, they get hit again and step off of the draining platform. Then we heal him for real this time, because I don't believe that there's any other places where casting jump can fail. At least I hope not. Make sure you bring long enough gems and enough food so that way you can camp and rest along the way if you have to. Although by this time, having enough food and being able to rest and having enough gems really should not be a problem. There we go. And we'll try jumping over this one. There we go. And I have a aid of an auto map to back me up, but in case you don't have that, all you just need to do is cast the locate spell. And remember that Zam is located in tw in X12 Y2. And hopefully this will allow me to jump over this one too. There we go. And Brother Zam is right in or is in the little corridor off to my right, um, the party's right. And all we just need to do is head down here. Dog you need to do. Most of the monsters are even just running away from me. Do a little turn of dead. I got rid of all of them. Also, left is a bunch of ugly giant spiders. I'm not sure just how dangerous they are, but, you know, best not to find out. Um, inside of this town, if you stop at a local smithy, you can also pick up an antidote potion, and it has several uses on it, so it's well worth the price of 500 gold if you happen to stop up that way. I also made sure to buy everybody some curing potions, because they're a lot better than healing herbs. And they'll bring somebody back from the brink of death a lot better. Um, where did I set that at? There we go. And brew, use it on Sonya. She's cured. Like I said, it's well worth the 500 gold piece cost if you're out that way. 
and we'll head right through this wall. It's pretty much a fake wall, fake wall, fake wall. And here we are. There's Sam. And he gives you a little hint. My clue is C15. Make sure you write that down or otherwise keep it in your head because that'll be valuable for whenever you find Brother Zone. And that pretty much concludes this section of the walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed. And next we'll be visiting the city of Algar. And we'll be seeing, we'll be trying to find Brother Zom within its walls. We'll put these two clues together and we'll find just what we are looking for. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this installment of the series. See you next time.